This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. It is for entertainment purposes only. It's the one, the only, a father in the house, baby. Wow! Everybody at Walmart probably thinks I'm a psycho. Let's just see if anybody heard that. <laughs> All right, so the A father just read a great post, baby, from one of our strong apes, Miguel Gonzalez, baby. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, here's, here's, the, here's Miguel, if you could see him. I'm actually gonna just read this word for word for, because Miguel, you nailed it, baby. Miguel described our movement. This is for all the new baby apes, baby. You're coming in, you don't know what's going on. The ape father and Miguel Gonzalez is gonna educate you, but this is Miguel's words, okay? So let's do it. A good read, he says, not financial advice. For all of the new baby apes, I know a lot of you have questions, they do. And I thought it would be helpful to provide you with some overall context to understand the significance of the movement you just joined. Here's the cliff note version. COVID hit last March, and a couple of big hedge funds, okay, conceded a plan to drive AMC into bankruptcy by shorting it and make a ton of money in the process. Now, short, when you short a company, the value of the stock goes down. That's how they make money. The hedge funds want the stock to go down. So when the country locked down and AMC closed their doors and their revenue literally went to zero overnight, it was a no-brainer play for the hedge funds. So the hedge funds start, started borrowing millions and millions of shares. Remember, guys, they don't own it, own the shares. They're borrowing the shares, baby. Okay, and basically they bar they borrowed it at the market price at the time, and they pocketed the cash from the sale. Now the idea is that the stock price will drop. You could buy them back later at a lower price and then return the borrowed shares to the broker and keep the difference. If the company goes bankrupt, the stock goes to zero. And then basically, they don't have to buy anything back, they keep everything. This is what they were banking on. He's talking about the hedge funds. The hedge funds were banking on. They wanted AMC to go bankrupt. They wanted it to go to zero. Okay, they've done this to company after company over the years, and they saw this as a sure thing. Listen, we own those, these in hedge funds, they're scumbags. That's why I hate Ken Griffin. I hate Citadel. They've been doing this to us for years, kicking us in our diamond balls, but we're about to kick back, baby. So a bunch of people, the Reddit community noticed that they were trying to drive AMC and GameStop and many other retailers into bankruptcy. We banded together to buy up all the available shares, driving up the share price. This resulted in the mini squeeze in January. Now he's referring to GameStop. When GameStop shut up to $500. Remember, that wasn't even a short squeeze. That was basically, you could call it a gamma squeeze. It was, it, was a, it was not the big squeeze. We still got a squeeze coming even for GameStop, but the squeeze in AMC. Wait till you see the short squeeze. We're going to Pluto with that one, baby. Okay, so the apes kept buying and buying and holding and holding. And once the real shares were bought up, the hedge funds doubled, tripled, and quadrupled down on their short positions. They started using synthetic shares. Remember we talked about the illegal money? Okay, that's the synthetic shares, the naked shorts, baby. Okay, now what they're doing, okay, is they want to drive the stock down. They're manipulating the stock down with these synthetic shares, the naked shorts. When the price dropped, Instead of selling like the hedge funds wanted us to, the ape said, thank you very much for the discount, baby, and kept buying more and holding. That's what I like to hear. Buy the dip, baby. Always buy the dip because you make the hedge fund slip. Now, nobody sold for the past five months since the movement really got started in January, and more and more people are jumping in and adding more every day. Now, because of all the synthetic shares, okay, you know, he likes to call it the IOUs, I like that. The hedge funds have created, to keep shorting AMC, us apes likely own way more shares. Like I said, originally it was reported that the apes owned about 80%. I don't think it's 80%, I think it's more like 90% because you gotta consider all those naked shorts. It's, it's ridiculous, guys, how much we own. We own like the whole stock. All right, so they literally have hundreds of millions of shares possibly billions to buy back. He's talking about the hedge funds, okay? And then we're gonna own them all, baby. We're gonna own them all. They have to buy them back eventually. 
And every day that the borrowed short shares are still on loan, the hedge funds are paying interest to the brokers that they borrowed from. Meanwhile, it cost the apes nothing to hold, nothing to hold. So things started coming to a head a couple of weeks ago because the interest rate, this is huge, on the borrowed shares was reported to be as high as 250%, baby. That's crazy. That's unbelievable. Think about that. They're paying hundreds of millions of dollars every day just to hold their positions. And a lot of them are starting to miss the payments. And you know what that means. Margin calls are coming. Mm, 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 margin calls are coming, baby. And that's when the fun starts. At that point, the broker forces them to buy back all all those hundreds of millions of shares that they borrowed and sold short because the broker doesn't want the hedge funds to be reckless, baby. They are reckless. They're screwed. Anyway, remember that the apes own all the shares and we are not selling, baby, except for those chumps. Don't sell, guys. You got gold. You got a royal flush. Anyway, the hedge funds can only buy a share for what the ape is willing to sell it for. Now, this is the big point the ape father wants to make. Let me ask you a question. If you guys had gold in your hands, what are you going to sell it for? You gotta, you know, you going to sell it for Peter? It's like the story of Manhattan. I read the Indians. They, they sold uh, the island of Manhattan. This is going back. <laughs> <laughs> for like pebbles and rocks don't be a freaking don't be an indian okay but listen i love you indians i'm not saying anything bad about the indians but that was a bad deal okay so anyway what what he's saying here is that we set the price we set it baby you want to sell for what price the ape, ape father wants to sell for five hundred thousand. wants to sell for pluto baby and that's what all of you guys want to want to do the same thing we're going to pluto this is a once in a lifetime opportunity it'll never happen again so let's talk about Miguel's post again. He says, never before has anything like this happened where millions of regular people have been able to band together to take on the billionaires who have been screwing them over time and time again and be able to actually hit them where it really hurts. Right in their, they don't have diamond balls. I like to say walnut balls, okay? And then basically it is the big hedge funds himself on the other side, you know the one, Citadel who has his hands in all the retail brokerage apps to make sure our orders get okay, routed to him to fill. And then they fill them with synthetic shares and they don't even have to dig themselves deeper and deeper in debt. Look, here's the bottom line. Let me just sum it up to make it very simple. We have what's called a royal flush. Let me make it very simple. What do you do if you're playing poker, right? You have a royal flush. What do you do? Do you fold? No, you keep buying, you keep raising the bet. We set the price. What do you guys want? Do you want a $1,000 price? Do you want a $10,000 price? Do you want a $50,000 price? Do you want a $100,000 price? Do you want a $200,000 price? A $500,000 price? Because we set it, baby. All we have to do is hold. You got it? Of course, you're nothing to hold, and it's costing the hedge funds $250 million a day for them to for them to keep, uh, you know, with their borrowed shares. They're all probably crying in the offices instead of the I can't take the interest payments. The budget calls are coming. Just keep holding strong. Hold the line, baby. The eight father loves you.